Hi guys, it's uh, Penny Rubio and Sarah Gardner here from Dishy Viability. Just doing a quick video for you. Um, as we've been going around the county recently, there's been a number of patients we've found that would have benefited from uh, stump bandaging on their lymphedematous toes. Um, and so we thought we'd put a quick video together for you to go through that procedure for those of you that haven't done it before or wanted a quick refresher. So Sarah's very kindly offered to be our patient today. Um, I've already bandaged um, her leg. Um, all that's left to do now is to apply the stump bandaging. And this would be the way that you would do it. So we're using Actico bandages for this. So whatever would be your regime for the rest of the leg, you would apply. And then in the last bit, you'd come back to put the stump bandaging on top of that. So for the stump bandaging, you're gonna need some K-Soft to adequately protect the toes um, and the pressure areas there. Um, and you're gonna to need to be using the eight centimeter Actico bandage for this. You will also need some scissors for cutting it. Um, so the foot has already got um, K-Soft um, underneath it in this portion. What we're doing now is just applying some over the tip of the toes to sort of protect this area. Um, it's a little bit blue Peter this, um, sometimes people are a little cack handed and you can find your own way of doing this. Um, uh, the essential thing is that you've got adequate protection on the tip and covered around that area. So what you could do is make yourself a little pillow by folding things over and put it over the tip of the toes and then bandage around. You want to end up with something that's nice and snug and you don't want to go too far up the foot. If you put the wool too far up the foot, then you've not got enough space for the bandage to stick to and the thing will end up falling off. So you could do it like that. So another way that you can do it, and generally what I do, is to just go around the foot a couple of times and then bring it folding backwards and forwards over the tip of the toes and then encasing it. Whatever works best for you, you need a minimum of two layers over the tip of the toes and you may even go for more so I can feel Sarah's poking out there I'm feeling the need to have a little bit more over the tip to protect them now that's quite a lot of wool there okay so I'm happy now with the amount of wool that we've got on there need to make sure I haven't gone too far up the foot so that I've got plenty of margin to go around okay and then taking your eight centimeter Actico roll up like you always would, um, we're going to do a turn around the base of the foot to anchor it. Now I've already put whatever compression I need in the foot on with this bandage below. So this is not about compressing the foot. So I don't need to put tension into the bandage as I'm going round the foot. That's already been applied there. So I'm literally just putting a little bit of stretch so that it sticks and it conforms onto the leg, onto the foot rather. And I'm just securing it there. Now, this is where people start to get a little bit cack handed with this. And what I try and do is I'm a very visual person. What I visualize is a point at the top and a point underneath that I'm going to and from. And I am starting at this point here I'm going to fold the bandage and point it in the direction that the strip is going to come over in this direction. And I'm aiming here for a 50% overlap. So I would want the middle of the bandage to be hitting this point here so that I've got a 50% overlap. So I'm folding on my point there. I'm pointing in the direction I want to go. And this is where you do put tension in now. So maybe 80% tension, there we go. And then the middle of my bandage on that line there is hitting 50%. And now I'm heading for the point on the sole of the foot that I identified before. I've got a little bit of a crease there, but that's just gonna happen. So just make sure that you fold it down and make it as unobtrusive as possible. So now I've reached that center point underneath, stick the bandage down, turn it over, and now I'm coming back over this way, aiming for my 50% overlap there, and then heading for this point in the top of my foot. So I've folded the bandage underneath, stick it down, and my hand is on top. 80% stretch over the top, heading for where my thumb is, and sticking it down there. Now it's a good thing because this bandage is sticky, 
You don't have to hold your hands and keep your fingers all inside it. You can stick it down, fold it over and then head off in the next direction. So there's the middle, middle of my bandage, 50% overlap. Stretch down to the middle of the foot underneath, stick it down and soften that out. Stretch back over there. And I'm nearly there. In fact, I probably am there. What I'm going to do now is just do one more turn around the foot just to bring all of those little sticky outy bits together. But again, I don't need any more compression around the foot, so I'm taking the tension off now. This is just literally to secure it. There we go. Back to the centre. And that's it. And it's what like you, a fan effect, isn't it? It is like a fan effect. And when you've got the hang of this and you manage to get yourself a decent fan, it's one of those very satisfying bandaging moments, Sarah. That's right. You look it's at a piece that. of art, Penny. Oh, you see, now I'm a little bit, maybe I would want that. Oh, I don't know. Now that's a piece You're of art. Style. There we go. So again, as we say in Wales, give it a little cutch, <laughs> give it a nice cuddle, make sure that it's all nicely stuck down. And that's your stump bandaging. So should the patient be able to wriggle their toes? They should be able to wriggle their toes. And they may go, ooh, that feels a bit firm. But get them to wriggle their toes and encourage them to wriggle their toes when it's on. Any movement that people make when they've got this on will make the muscles contract. And the bandaging around contracting muscles is what encourages the movement of the blood and, and the lymph fluid. So yes, exercising your toes would be a really good thing to do.